Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be building a new toy box for my son because currently all of his toys are in his old pack and play. It's just sitting in our living room. It's kind of an eyesore. He can't really get to him. Um, he just, he gets frustrated, you know, when he can't reach a toy and he's constantly turning around and asking for Dada and Mama to help. Uh, so I'm gonna be building him a nice big toy box that sits pretty low. So um, I've just done a rough sketch of it. I think it's going to be about 18 inches tall, but it's going to be super wide. It's going to be like four foot wide. Um, so I think I have enough cedar here. I had a bunch of cedar that um, was still very rough that I needed to use to make some room for some more of the slabs that I've got outside that are getting close to dry. So I figured that this would be a good opportunity to use some of that cedar up. Uh, I've saved you the, the trouble of watching me join it and plane it and get it to the state that it's in now where everything's at its final dimension. Um, I did have to glue up two, two pieces into one that's a little thicker uh, for the legs just because I didn't have any um, that were at least an inch and a half thick. So we'll get this uh, cut up into our legs and uh, this is going to be a good video I think. Uh, my shop is going to smell amazing and I hope you enjoy it.
Okay, so I mixed up like uh, about five times too much epoxy. So that's good. What else can I fill? Anything? I found something else to fill.
right, here we go. Stressful glue up number one. actually going to glue in these panels. I'm just going to let them float to allow for a little bit of movement. So obviously this will either be the front or the back. Just depends on how I feel whenever all of it gets put together. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm the captain now. Well, that's not fantastic. <laughs> Pieces fit first, yeah. That'll make glue up a lot easier. I swear it fit when I did the dry assembly. Bleeder on this one. I think I'm doing it right. I need you to close. There we go. Aha! love how much this is cracking. I feel like I really, really got something right on this one. Looks like a wainer to me. How long was that? That was 18 minutes of just terror.
Yeah. Okay, be careful. I love you. Sorry about the noise in the background, if you can hear that I've got the laser running. Um, I got these soft closed hinges, because this lid is so heavy I don't want my son to crush his fingers. Uh, and they're just not quite heavy duty enough to, to make it a soft closed lid. Uh, 
They do slow it down a good bit. Um, they you know, keep it from slamming, so they do work. But once it gets to about there, it really takes off, and I think that can still hurt his fingers. So I've got um, some more heavy-duty soft clothesline hinges on the way. They should be here at some point today. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make sure that all this is good and final sanded. I'll probably break some of these corners on the lid. Uh, and then hopefully the, those other hinges get here and I can put those on and we can finish this up. Literally put finish on it and take it upstairs. Because my wife's tired of looking at that pack of clothes. So let's do a little sanding. Can y'all see me right here? Uh, so I'm going to finish this with boiled linseed oil uh, instead of a film finish because inev inevitably with a two-year-old right now, uh, this thing is going to get beat up and scratched on. And I think it's going to be much easier to, to refinish with an oil finish rather than a film finish. Um, just thought I'd give a little explanation on why I'm doing an oil instead of a film finish. <clears throat> Even though the film finish might leave a little bit more protection, uh, I'm going with the the refinishing value of a of an oil finish. And maybe I'm completely wrong on that, but that's just been my experience so far. formal outro here um, I think this turned out really well uh, I love the way that the the cedar just pops which cedar is just pretty anyways um, it's kind of hard to tell but the epoxy that I used is tinted blue there is a couple spots that you can see it um, but for the most part it turned out kind of black I'm dropping uh, it turned out kind of black or, or too dark looking but uh, this thing is the perfect height for him to reach in and get toys and to put toys up and he can lift the lid by himself and he has a little bit of trouble closing it but that's not a big deal um so until next time friends y'all have a good one oh you okay <laughs> you bonk your head Can you push it open? <laughs> <laughs>